All right, video journal number five, I think. Um, it's February 3rd, 2010. Um, I just wanted to document uh, some kind of weird stuff that I'm doing today. It's always diff it's always something different every day. But anyway, uh, Lucian sent me a track um, last night. It's a uh, it's for like a children's song for like some Jim Hen Jim Henson production or something. Um, but he uh, he requested that I send him some some MIDI files so he could choose the sounds or me mix the drums and send them to him because I think he hates mixing. Probably definitely hates mixing <laughs> my tracks because send him like 500 different microphones. But anyway, um, so right now I'm contemplating on whether I should get um, Dramagog or uh, BFD too. So. Um, Right now I don't have either one, so I'm just kind of got a crazy setup going on. I put a trigger on my snare and on my bass drum, running them through a TD6 MIDI into Pro Tools, um, and then I'm, I have BFD Lite, so I'm just pulling that up to get some sounds right now. Also, I have some other sounds on there and like expand and stuff. I'll check them out too. Never really done this before. <clears throat> I suppose I could uh, record drums on the V drums. MIDI into the uh, into Pro Tools and use BFD there, but I just can't get the beat, the hi hat to behave correctly like I wanted to. So, with all that being said, let's look at my setup real quick. Here we go. <clears throat> um, normal drums like I always do, Pearl Masters. Um, pretty much micing all the drums up. I'm not using the tom, that's why there's a towel on the tom right now. Gotta use the floor tom though, so that's what that's all about. Um, I got the overheads, the blue baby bottles, um, and then using the uh, boundary mic thing over here, SM57 pointed at the floor thing. It's kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool sound there. Not using the closet mic today. Anyway, so here's my setup. Um, I have a snare trigger here, right here. And I also have a mic on the top of the snare, and on the bottom of the snare I have a SM81 with high pass filter on it. Then I have down here, I have a uh, kick trigger. I don't know if you can see that, it's how dark it is. But there's a kick trigger down there. So I'm just triggering the snare and the bass drum, that's it. Um, running them to this TD6, and I'm not taking the audio out of the TD6, I'm just taking MIDI. So I'm running that MIDI cable over here to my Digio 3, and then it's going into Pro Tools. So that's my setup. I'm also running a few mics through this mixer, um, mainly as a pad because uh, I don't have any kind of pads on my Digio 3 and I'm using my focus rate for my overhead. So um, I kind of started using that as a pad, but I'm also EQing the, uh, I got the snare running through here. I'm EQing it a little bit, just boosting a little bit of the highs and let's see here, I got a little tiny bit of uh, the mids taken out, I think. Just a little bit. But everything's pretty flat, really. Actually, I got the mids boosted, like the high mids boosted on the, uh, that looks like it's this top snare mic. And, uh, there's some low mid stuff that I don't like in snare drums. Take that out a little bit. But anyway, that's my setup for today. And this little track here is called Inertia. So I'm going to try to record some drums for a children's song now. It's kind of got a walking on sunshine vibe to it so later on I get to record the guitars so let's see how this turns out anyway end of story there